The brain is the organ which controls our whole physical being. Once our brain has been imbalanced, it will then transmit that imbalance throughout the whole body. Thought forms are pure energy that have the ability to influence people and everyday events in life. According to science, our brains generate an electromagnetic field which may be measured by such instruments as an encephalograph. This electromagnetic field is generated by the brain every time we think and as our mind is never still, we may be compared to perpetual power generators. Fear produces nervous disorders. Anger produces headaches and violence. Confused thoughts produce congestion and ill health. Depression causes cancer, tumors, mental diseases and lowering of the immune system causing death through own will power. Our thoughts generate intricate energy patterns which can be detected by sensitive equipment and seen by clairvoyant individuals. These energy patterns are known as thought forms. Surprisingly, thought forms are shaped by the thoughts themselves. Each of us creates hundreds of thought forms every hour and release them into the environment. Although we cannot see them, the thought forms have as real an existence as any other form of energy. Most people can sense others' thought forms and a continuous energetic exchange happens between people about which we are usually unaware. This also explains why we sometimes take a sudden liking or dislike to a certain person directly on meeting them. We just catch their vibes. Unclutching is a guide for equanimity and enlightenment. Thoughts are like bubbles in a fish tank. Just as bubbles in a fish tank rise from the bottom, our thoughts also rise in the same manner. When one bubble comes and reaches the surface of the water, the next bubble starts and the third bubble starts. Because the bubbles are rising at high speed, they look like a continuous stream. But our mind is not a continuous stream. There is always a gap between two thoughts. Like the bubbles, we also experience a neutral space between two thoughts. This neutral space between two thoughts is our original state, the pure silence. It is a state of pure consciousness, the state of God. Since the gap or the neutral space between two thoughts is too small, we think all thoughts are connected and form a shaft. But there is always a gap between two thoughts. In the forest of northern India, the hunters trap the birds using a trap. They tie a rope between two trees. The rope is a shaft that we create by connecting two thoughts. In the middle of the rope, they secure a wooden stick. The stick is our mind. The rope is tied at the midpoint of the stick. When a bird comes and sits on the stick, the bird's own weight turns the whole stick upside down. It turns topsy-turvy. The moment it turns upside down and loses its sense of balance, it feels totally shaken and tightens its grip on the stick. It simply holds onto the stick as if its life depends on it. Similarly, we connect thoughts and form a shaft out of it and live in the fear that if we drop our mind, we might be lost. We might lose our identity. Because it is hanging upside down, it thinks, if I unclutch from this stick, I will fall and die. It's similar to the fear that if we start trusting that we are unconnected, unclutched, independent and illogical thoughts, we might be lost. If the bird lets go and relaxes, it may flutter to balance for a moment or two. When it leaves the stick, maybe for a few seconds it will fall, but then it will adjust itself and start flying. In the same way, we hold on to whatever we think is our identity and security, our education, our mind, our life, our relationships or our bank balance ultimately comes to remove the stick that is our identity. Just like the bird, we don't realize that if we drop our mind, at that moment we can become a Paramahamsa, 
that very moment we can be liberated in mundaka upanishad there is a story which explains there is a huge tall tree and in the tallest branch of the tree there is a golden bird sitting unclutched from everything in bliss like dakshina murti in the lower level branch there is a small bird which jumps from here and there to various branches eating fruits when it eats a bitter fruit it feels bad whenever she eats the bitter fruit she sees the bird which is looking above silently like dakshina murti and feels why i should not be like that bird but unfortunately when the same bird when it eats tasty fruit it forgets the bird sitting above it in the same way she keeps battling between branches eating bitter and tasty fruits again and again one day as a small bird flies up higher and as it reaches near the golden bird it realized that he and she are the same there is no difference between them both and realizes her original state the small bird realizes that she also can be in the same state of the golden bird and become a paramahamsa this moment trust yourself don't bother about losing your identity just trust yourself and let go of your identity you will immediately become a paramahamsa and be liberated all you need to do is to trust that you're unclutched dropping the conclusions you can't be transformed is unclutching